Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So, yesterday I was reading my Bible, and God wanted me to read to you Joel chapter 2, starting at verse 25, to Joel chapter 3, ending at verse 21. So, you can take this up with fasting, and you can read it. Um, so, basically, I guess this ties into the messages with the other messages of, I guess, the the Passover, the two witnesses, and, like, um, things that are coming. Because this also talks, in this chapter, it also talks about restoration, and also talks about coming destruction, and it also talks about the three days of darkness. So, and, you know, there's a lot of, you know bizarre things happening in the earth a lot of judgments happening you see in california snowing when does the snow in california and then after the snow there's a flood in california and then moali is flooded and new zealand had a flood the other day and peru had a flood and brazil had a flood and there's just a lot of destructions going on around the world so you had to prepare yourself there are things to come all right i'm not putting i'm not trying to Put any type of fear in you but those people in those countries didn't know that a natural disaster was going to come so you should be prepared and have emergency emergency things in your house always like flashlights batteries extra food non-perishable food like things that you'll need you know like that you won't be able to go to a store for no matter what happens because you also have to know like when this place is going to be like jumanji it's gonna not it's not gonna be like your every day when judgments do fall all right so you can't just get comfortable in these rich countries and think that that can't be your life that that can't happen to your country and that can't be your new normal like how other countries and other islands had to adjust to natural disasters coming there so and that had to become their new normal and they weren't prepared for it so once you're in these countries and you're getting warnings from God, take them seriously and protect yourself and make sure you have the things that you need. With that being said, let me read. Excuse me. One second. <coughs> so Joel chapter 2 verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palma worm, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord, your God, that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servant, upon the handmaid, and those will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in heaven, in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the, of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So you hear that? So after the, dark, the, the three days of darkness and the moon turns into blood of that great and terrible day, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And you know in Obadiah says, Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and the house of Jacob shall have their possessions. So now, let me finish. Um, now the next chapter. No, I go there. Yeah, chapter 3. For behold, in those days and in the time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, because God will save the tents of Judah first, right? I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat 
and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land, and have cast lots for my people, and have given a boy for a harlot, and have sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will you render me a, re a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Behold, you have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried it into your temples, my goodly pleasant things. So God is judging those nations for stealing from the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, and taking the gold and silver that God gave to the children of Judah and put carrying it into their temples. And then the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. And he's judging the people right now for what they did um, to, for selling the children of Judah and for stealing their gold and their silver. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians that you might remove them far from their borders and for removing them from their borders. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them. Because remember, God said, where he, gathered, where he scattered the children of Judah what were, and where he scattered the children of Israel, he will gather them. He who scattered them will gather them. He says, Behold, I will raise them out of the place where, where, you, where you sold them and will return your recompense on your own head. So God's telling he's going to punish them. The year of recompense for the controversy of the daughter of Zion. Do you understand? Daughter of Zion is from the tribe of Judah. And God is saving the chants of Judah first. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have they sold unto the Grecians that they might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them, and I will return your recompense on your own head. And I will, and God, this is his jud God's judgment for them. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. Proclaim ye the, the proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare for war. Because remember, God is the one who musters up the battle, the war that's in spoken of in Isaiah and in, in the book of Jeremiah, the war that God set up against Babylon, right? He said, spare no arrow. So the war that God's preparing for the earth, right? He says, proclaim this among the Gentiles. So tell all the nations that they need to prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your blow shares into, sh into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen, and gather yourselves together round the bow. Hither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. God's going to cause the heathens and the mighty ones to come down. Let the heathen be wakened, and let them come up into the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow. For the wickedness is great, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near, in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened. So it talks about the three days of darkness again in this chapter. And if you don't know about the three days of darkness, I have videos about that so you can catch yourself up, you know, with scriptures. And you can fast and pray and ask God and, you know, ask him for the spirit of truth, the spirit of the Holy Spirit, lead you into all truth and for him to give you the revelation of such things if you don't, if you're not aware of it. The sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion. And utter his voice from Jerusalem. The Lord shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and earth shall shake. So the big earthquake, right? Where God shakes the heavens and earth. So he's telling you, three days of darkness is coming. A great earthquake is coming. I don't know the dates and times on these things. 
that's why you, you should always be prepared for anything. Like, them people didn't know the date and time of those floods. So get your house in order, get your heart in order, get your forgiveness in order with God. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Because he's saving them. So shall you know that I am the Lord. Oh, wow. What? Oh, okay. Uh, so you shall know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no, there shall no strangers pass through her any more. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall do drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord, and shall wa water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. Um, I'm read, supposed to read till verse 31. That's just 21. So forgive me. So the blood. So what they did to the children of Judah, this is their punishment. Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever and Jerusalem from generation to generation. And I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed for the Lord dwells in Zion. That's it to 21 verse 21 chapter 3 to the end of it. So there you have it. Take the soap of fasting. Um, the book of Job chapter 2 verse 25 to Joel chapter 3 verse 21. Stay blessed beautiful people.